What is happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing how music can take your photography to the next level. Let's roll the intro. Okay, first things first, we have some exciting things to do. We got a new package from Bose, some new exciting stuff. It's beautiful up here. Thank you again, Bose. Let's get this opened up. Welcome to the world of Bose noise cancelling headphones. Their boxes are so good. Oh, this is looking exciting. Wow. 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 These are so nice. Wow. Okay, let's get into the actual video. Cool, so I'm just gonna get straight into this. This video is gonna be broken up into two parts as to how music can help you. Firstly, into shooting, and secondly, into how it can help you with editing. So first things first, let's start out with the shooting segment. You know how it is when you're out there in the field, if you have been with your earphones in or headphones, it's an awesome feeling when you do have music to go along with how you are creating. By having some good music, it can inspire a mood that reflects in the photos that you're taking as well, and reflects in the creative vibe that you're trying to go for in the shoot. So for example, certain music styles complement certain visual styles. Just think about this for a second. If you're out in New York City or Chicago and you're really going for that gritty, grimy street kind of vibe, maybe hip hop and rap music is the music that you want to listen to. If you're out in the mountains and the outdoors, maybe something more folky would suit your taste. So whether you're listening to Kendrick Lamar or the Lumineers, that can really have a big impact on the way you create and ultimately the visual style that your photos will have. So I think in saying that, the question you have to ask yourself is what visual style are you going for? Determine that before your shoot and try to pick out some music that complements the style that you're going for or even that contradicts it. Creativity doesn't really have any rules. If you want to listen to the Lumineers or Bonnie Iver while taking street photography, that might give you a totally different mood and vibe and feel to the shoot and create something truly unique. So don't stick to the norms, don't think just because you are in the street, you have to listen to hip hop or, or rap. But bend the rules a little bit, try out some new things, break every single rule out there and get creative. Another thing that I really love when listening to music out on shoots is that it just cuts out all the noise and distractions of the city around you. I think it's different if you are in a landscape environment. A lot of the time I like listening to the sounds of nature, but again, that music can really inspire and influence the way I create. But it becomes really important when I am out in New York City, there's just so many noises, so many things going on constantly all of the time. So I think it's great to have a pair of noise canceling headphones like these Bose ones. They are honestly so good. I've been using them for a while now and I can't recommend them enough. Like I honestly don't even know how it works. It's got this really special noise canceling function and you can like change the levels of it and you put it on 10 and you literally can't hear anything around you. When it comes down to it, good sound matters. When you're really feeling that music instead of just hearing it, it makes a difference. Well, at least it does for me when I'm out there creating. It makes it sort of a fully immersive experience. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get across in my work. So if I can bring that into the creative process, that just makes it even better. super great is because I don't even have to take out my phone while shooting or leave my editing program to change the song. Hey Google, next song. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So with saying that, that takes me on to my second section, which is how music can be great for editing. Just like shooting, music can inspire a mood that carries over into the way you post-process your images. Again, I'm just gonna stick with the theme of using rap music and folk music. If you're using rap, you might go for something that looks a lot darker, a lot grungier, whereas folk, you might add a lot more browns and greens into the images if you are shooting that outdoorsy kind of thing. But again, you can contradict the styles and mix it up however you want to. I do think that music does play a big role in the editing process. I pretty much always listen to music while editing, and I do feel that it really does have an impact on the way I edit my photos. For example, when I edited my latest camping shoot with Quinn, I pretty much listened to the Lumineers almost the entire time. Um, I also do have a playlist on my Spotify called Pine, which is just filled with all those kind of chilled out outdoorsy vibe songs. So that really inspired the colors and the look and the feel and the mood ultimately that I wanted to portray through these images. 
It might even help to listen to the same music that you're listening to while shooting so that you can carry over that theme and the cohesiveness of the visual style that you're wanting to achieve. I think you get the point of what I'm trying to say. Music is pretty cool and it can make a big difference to your creative process. If you aren't trying it out already, I do highly suggest it. Try shooting with music, try editing with music, try switching up the styles and see what you can come up with. If you wanna take it a step further as well, you can even add music into the edits of your photos and export it as a video so that your audience can see and feel the image the way you intend it. Here are some examples of what I mean by that. To the end, to the end. I just feel that music has so much to add and when speaking about photography, we always speak about things that we see. It's a very visual process, of course, but our ears are such an important sense and I think we just need to utilize as many senses as we can and bring that into the creative process. So unfortunately, that is all we have time for for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. What kind of music do you listen to while shooting or editing? Do you have any favorites that are specifically for photography? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback as well as if you wanna follow me on Spotify, I've got a whole bunch of playlists there. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description as well as a link to these amazing Bose 700 headphones. I can't recommend them enough. Thank you so much again to Bose for being a part of this video. I really appreciate it. Again, you guys are the best. Please hit the subscribe Please hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. But in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.